Hey YouTube, what's going on? My name's Sean, AKA Sean Avelli. I'll leave the handle down below. This is my first YouTube video. Uh, welcome to my channel. Um, in my channel, you'll see several things anywhere from fashion as well as uh, streetwear or thrift uh, pickups, really in the clothing realm. I'm into sneakers. I'm also into travel, which you'll see when I go out, I do a lot of traveling. It'll be mainly fashion related. Being that this is my first video, I figure I'll stick to it and be very traditional. Um, the first video I'll really call it a first quarter pick us from January, February, March, April, and there'll be two videos. So I'll do a first half of the video because I have a lot of stuff that I accumulated over the couple months. Even though like my next uh, pickup video, you'll see all the stuff that I have ordered but that haven't gotten here yet. I haven't done a pickup for the several months. Maybe in the future I'll do a month by month by month basis. But I'll do a real big pickup video for you guys um, in two parts. This is my first YouTube video, so let's get right into it. I guess I'll cover the shoes first. Being that this is um, my first sneaker, I definitely want to pick a banger for you guys. Um, this this sneaker actually came out during All Star Weekend. Um, I seen a lot of hype around it and everything like that. I wasn't really too fond of it at first because I didn't really like the whole design of it. But it actually kind of grew on me the more I seen it on my TL and I seen the value of it kind of skyrocket at All Star Weekend. But then I was like, you know what? Maybe I should catch it when it's going down because if I don't catch it when it's going down, I might end up regretting to get the shoe. I got it for a great price um, at the value that it, it kind of is right now. It kind of just stayed the same. Um, and it actually became one of my top favorite shoes right now in my in my rotation. The Off-White Jordan 5s. I'll hold that up for you guys so you can see. I threw the red laces in there. It comes with uh, three different pairs of laces. It comes with a red, uh, a white, and a black pair. I seen everybody doing the white. Um, I felt like either the black was more classic or I would do a red to stand out. I'll also put a picture for you guys of me wearing it maybe on the side here so that way you guys can see it as well. But yeah, I felt like these were a great summer shoe. Um, even a fall shoe as well, like you could switch the laces out and get a different vibe and a different feel off them as well. I think they're very cool. They have uh, the cut holes here, which I'm not really too fond of, the whole cutout look. but. I kept it like a traditional five. I was looking for a pair of metallic fives anyway. So I felt really, why not just get this? It's a little bit more hype, hold a little bit of value over time. The soles were already yellow and that's the part I like about the metallic fives. I was gonna end up getting an older pair anyway with the, and let the soles be yellow. And I figured these already come like that. If you could see right here, these have only been worn maybe about one or two times, but I definitely do love them. Let me see if I can hold that for you so you get it steady. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I definitely think that this is going to be a great shoe for me. I actually have a pair of shorts that I've been dying to pull out uh, for this video. So, um, and actually been dying to wear uh, since about last year. I ordered it, these shorts maybe about a year or so ago that I've been waiting to wear. So I'll definitely um, be putting those together with these shoes as well. Okay, so for my next two pickups, um, these were a shoe I was waiting for for a very, very, very long time. I know right now the whole Dunk SB wave is coming back in. Um, when I was younger, I wasn't really into like, well, I was in much more caught on schooling and buying things for school and me doing activities and stuff like that, like sports and baseball and stuff like that. But I never really got caught up in clothes because they figured I would grow out of it anyway, which they were myself like, uh, whenever I, I get the opportunity to grow up, get my own money and start like actually buying my own clothing that I would buy things I would actually like. So um, I bought these shoes because they were kind of like reminiscent of like shoes I used to see in high school. A lot of people were big on dunks when I was in high school. And this pack is the Syracuse and Kentucky Dunks. So I'll hold it up for you guys. So right here, I got the pack here. Um, I think I may be slightly overpaid for this pack. Not too sure. Um, this is the Syracuse model, which I absolutely love. Um, I don't think I ever even like really worn these maybe about one time. 
in an Instagram photo. But that was about it. No creasing or anything like that, as you could see. Buttery. They come with a, uh, an orange pair as well as a white pair of laces. And I definitely want to go with the white. It definitely adds a little bit of contrast and a little bit more classic. So there's the Syracuse low for you, as well as the Kentucky low, which is actually like my favorite. Uh, well, I don't really have a favorite between the two, but I would say like this is a little bit more wearable because it has the regular blue in it. But I think the, the orange of the Syracuse definitely still pops. Um, these haven't even touched outside yet, so I could probably even lick these, but I won't even do that for you like traditional people on the camera. But yeah, they get a lot of wear out of these or will get a lot of wear out of these from me in the summertime. And I definitely think that these two are a great pickup um i know the dunk like i mentioned the dunk sb wave is coming back in i'm definitely collecting on a, a lot of dunks i'm looking for those chunky donkeys that are uh with the ben and jerry ice creams that are supposed to come out um i know there's about to be a st john's or unlv pair of dunks about to come out so i'm definitely on all of them Syracuse and kentucky dunk look but for my last sneaker pickup uh but I felt like the one shoe was really a staple. It's definitely incorporated a lot in uh, NY street style and a lot in like vintage style. So a lot of people wear it with chinos, uh, dickies or workwear and things like that. And I definitely think it can be an everyday shoe and it became like an everyday like get out the house shoe for me. Anytime I go to the supermarket or like Walmart or something like that. That shoe is actually the New Balance 990. So here they are. Um, I actually caught these on eBay for a steal, maybe about 70 bucks. They had like a slight scuff mark, but that was about it. No box. I think that was a good price because the retail on these are like kind of crazy. They don't even make this model anymore. I forgot. I think this is a, a, if I'm not mistaken, a V3 model. And I actually like the V3 model better because of the outside midsole versus like the V5 with that like bulky futuristic midsole and I hate it. But I think the V3 was the best New Balance 990, in my opinion. And these are the classic gray joints. Uh, you can wear these with Dickies or anything like that. Um, a travel shoe, because they're very comfortable. They're more comfortable than most shoes I have or any other shoe. But I definitely think I'll be able to get a lot of wear out of these. And yeah, for my next pickup, I actually picked this up um, from the same brand I'm wearing on this t-shirt right now which is actually like in my top five favorite brands right now. That brand being Bare Knuckles. You want a full uh, Bare to Knuckles top to bottom and these pants uh, in my pickups today is the Bare Knuckles actual uh, woven cardigan in like this harvest yellow color. So this is like a crop cardigan that I get a lot of compliments for. I don't know if you can see the pattern on it, but it's actually really good quality. It's extremely soft. Everybody that has touched this have mentioned to me like how soft it really is. It has like the pearl uh, shiny buttons, as you can see. And it definitely looks like a sweater, like all right, like your grandma knit it, but it has that really crop feel. So you wear this with like a boxy tee like this. So you get a real crop feel with it. I usually wear it with like some type of derby on my feet, uh, whether it's like a, a, a low top um, Doc Martin or a Chelsea boot. I wear it with like a Cuban style Chelsea boot with a high heel or something like that. Or you can wear this with regular boots, combat boots, however you want to wear it. Um, I even wear this even like with some streetwear. So I wear it with dunks or whatever the case may be. Like you can get this off however you would like. But I definitely love this sweater. It's in this like, I wouldn't even say like mustard. I would say like, if out of any color, it's like a, like a harvest homemade honey Dijon type yellow, golden yellow. And yeah, this is like my favorite sweater in my wardrobe. I'm definitely into like sweaters and knits. Uh, it has the two pockets here. It's very cropped and uh, distressed on the the collar as well as the bottom so yeah as you can see it's very wide as well i think i got this in a size large maybe but yeah i think that this is a, a perfect fit 
uh, and it's definitely it's definitely kind of thick like you can wear it in the winter if you layer it right but you can also like wear this in the summertime with some shorts if you just have a shirt this some shorts a hat definitely a summertime vibe so i think i'll be able to get a lot of wear out of it actually bought this from uh jacob and cole's like secondary market where they sell like uh all thrift pieces and everything like that so right here i have uh, a vintage tee I'm very into vintage t-shirts as you can see like even with this like anything from like my mom's closet or the things I thrift outside or thrift online because I'll probably get into a video about that as well about how, how I like really thrift online or something like that but right here is a, a vintage single stitch t-shirt really says love seasonal color racism hurts everybody so I'll hold it up for you guys right here so you can really see uh, the shirt so this is like a uh, just a vintage tee. Um, for those people that don't know, you can really tell like the age of a t-shirt based on the way it's stitched. So usually traditional t-shirts made right now have like a double seam stitching in it and it'll be like stitched one way and it'll cross back the other way. So right now this just has one stitch going one way. So that's why you can tell like this is from the 90s. I think any tee, most tees made after like 94 really use the double stitch. So this is like a really old tee. I'm really into like uh, reusable clothing, uh, things that are like kind of like better for the environment. I'm not really into like the fast fashion. Like I used to be like the H&M, the Zars or anything like that, which I don't see anything wrong with it if that's what you like, but I'd rather wear something that has a little bit of character, a little bit of story, um, a little bit of grunge to it. And I definitely think I like the pieces more that have a little bit of meaning to it. Um, especially like here, this really says love seasonal colors. I just think this is a really, cool and unique piece and the greatest thing about the thrift game is like you're probably not going to see the piece on anybody else really so like this is like one of my favorite tees that i picked up recently and i'll probably do a, a video in regards to all my uh vintage tees or vintage items rather maybe i'll do a, a thing like that my next pickup is um a t-shirt that i got from this brand i used to be really into this brand like when I first got into fashion but on their uh their furniture their accessories their um the just like the the major pieces I wouldn't wear anything into really too loud or anything like that but right here I have this uh this bait tee so what this is is uh the 15th anniversary of their store in New York City which is in their Soho uh flagship so right here is the bait logo in graffiti it just looks like in the bubble graffiti letter so it really just says uh babe babe store soho on the back it has the uh babe the babe head with the statue of liberty with the 15 years as well but yeah this is a uh, a great tee um i wore it recently on instagram which you'll be able to see once i link it down below but i think this is a really good shirt um yeah not much to say about it i think it's just a classic vape is just like a kind of like a classic thing and i go for more of the classes of pieces when it comes to like vape and supreme and stuff like that versus like the more hype pieces so yeah my next pickup is a pickup from a brand called abstract you um, I haven't even worn these pants yet, but I've seen a lot of people wearing them and it has a lot of I'm kind of into like the cargo with a lot of pockets type of thing Also Pants that like kind of like stack up on the bottom So I figured these were the perfect pants and were in a color that I don't have So right here I have these abstract youth cargos In the brown colorway, so it's really just a pant with about maybe about one two three so about six pockets on each and two on the back, like a traditional pant. If you could see here, this is the little logo patch. Um, the little logo patch for abstract youth, if you can see. Um, the tag on the inside as well. So yeah, um, I think these are going to be a good pant that I could probably get off. Um, maybe with a shoe like the Jordan 5 or maybe with a shoe like a, 
a dunk or a one because I'm very into ones as well. But this will definitely be a good uh, pair of pants where I can get a get a lot of stacking or anything like that. Um, they're very long. It's kind of hard to find a pant that has my inseam. My ideal pant is like a 32 to a, like a 33 waist, but has like a 34 or a 35 inseam because I like the stacking. Plus, I have like really long legs. I'm about maybe about six foot, maybe about six foot one with shoes on. So I I definitely want uh, shoes with a lot of length and the inseam as well. So I think this is definitely a good one. But yeah. Alright, so my last few pickups are really um, pickups in regards to tech and things that I really bought to even run this channel. So so I figured why not take the money that I was investing in things like clothing and stuff like that and actually invest it in myself. It's, so I'll start with my first pickup when it comes to tech, which is actually what I'm filming on right now. So right here is my camera pickup. It's a Sony, a Sony uh, Alpha 6400 which I'm shooting on right now. Um, I'll show you with the box. So I really picked up this camera because I did a lot of research. I watched a lot of YouTube videos on cameras that were good for vlogging and sit down as well. I found out this was a, a, a great camera. It was compatible to a lot of uh, different accessories and everything like that. So yeah, I definitely went with this. I went with Sony because I feel like it's definitely quality one. They have good warranties. And plus, like, I found a bundle where I can get a bunch of things with the camera at once for a very good price. It wasn't much more expensive than the other thing. The only thing about a Sony is versus, like, a Canon or a Nikon or something like that is that the lenses are a lot more expensive. But I feel like you kind of pay for what you get when it, for what you want, quality picture. So right here is a Sony A6400. It shoots on 4K video, which hopefully after I edit this video, it's either in 180p or 4K for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's what I really want. I really just wanted a camera that would shoot 4K, whether I'm vlogging or whether whatever I'm doing. Um, I definitely think this would be a, a great uh, tool that I'll be using in the future. And yeah. Uh, all right, so for my next pickup, this is really like kind of random, but what this is is like, uh, I bought this online. This was recommended to me from a friend off of Instagram. She's actually like a, a, a pretty prominent like Instagram info that I know her. So what I asked her was tips and tricks of like how to take Instagram pictures or better pictures or to switch the content up kind of. And I figured this would be a good tool for the future. So what this is is actually like, uh, a selfie stick but it's actually bluetooth that turns into a tripod so you just open it up you put your phone here or whatever the case may be um and yeah it pretty much turns into from like uh just a regular stick to like a tripod where i can just push it up take pictures anything like that uh type of thing so that way, like, if I'm by myself, I can take a picture. It comes with this little button thing, and I can just shoot the pictures of my outfits. Like, when I'm by myself or on my own, if I don't have somebody to take my picture, and this would also be good if, like, I end up like vlogging off my phone or anything like that, which I'll probably just use the camera for. But like, sometimes like your camera dies or whatever the case may be, so you just use the stick, you vlog, you do whatever you gotta do. And I definitely think this will be a, like a, a definite good tool for the summertime decent pickup. Uh, my next pickup, which is be my second to last pickup, I had a Mac Air computer. I had that computer since I was in college. It definitely was a great computer. Um, my parents helped me purchase it while I was in school and everything. I really wanted to get something where it was a lot more functional, a little bit more memory, because I ran out of so much memory with that. Plus, like, I have an external hard drive, so with that and my new computer, I would have a lot more memory. So with that being said, I have uh, the new Mac Pro. So what this is, is a uh, Mac Pro 13 inch. This is the new Mac Pro 13 inch. Definitely very light, extremely skinny. Uh, this is about as skinny as my last computer, but I think it's very good. Uh, for what it, 
I paid for it. I got that pretty much just like my new work computer and I've been using that like every day now. So it's definitely like something that I needed uh, that will be an investment in myself. So between that and the camera that it did cost me a pretty penny, but I think that it was definitely an investment in myself. So my last and final pickup, uh, being that we are home, now, like I was still working while this was going on and everybody was going home. I figured that uh, I would grab a lot of things if I planned to be stuck in the house for, for a while. At first I thought I was gonna be stuck in the house for a month. So I'm like, you know what, let me just get a game that I can beat in like a month. When it ended up being, uh, or a lot more time rather, because they're gonna extend this quarantine or whatever it's gonna happen. But I ended up buying this game, which is Pokemon Sword. So I actually got recommended this game by a friend. I was definitely really into Pokemon when I was young. I still have my card cards from when I was younger somewhere in my closet. Um, but yeah, this was definitely like a, a dope game. I didn't finish it. Um, when we were first home, I was playing this like a ton. I was playing this like every day, like in between work because now I work from home. And I was playing this so much. And it was definitely a dope game. And it was a lot more complex than a traditional Pokemon game. A lot more realistic and everything like that. So I, I definitely recommend it to you guys. Uh, even though I don't know as many of the Pokemon, they still have plenty of the old Pokemon in there as well. And like they have expansion packs and different things that you can buy to go to different Pokemon. So this is like a game that even though you beat it, they can add stuff on so you can keep playing it. And I definitely think you get a little bit bang for your buck when you get this. So I definitely think this was a, a good purchase of mine. So yeah, I'll really just wrap up the video. But I definitely think that there's a lot to come when it comes to this channel and just stay the course stay with me for the ride and you'll definitely see a lot of growth i'm working on my setup right now uh my room is kind of like filled with clothes and sneakers and different things in my bed and now that i work from home like a big computer so i'm really just trying to work on a setup this was like a setup that really just worked for me real quick i think that it was good i didn't really take much thought um soon like i have a bunch of posters that I need to hang up, so maybe I'll do a different setup, I'm not sure, but for right now, I think this will be the best setup. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like what you saw today, just subscribe and like the video down. Also comment down below of things that you wanna see in the future. I'm definitely like open-minded to different things that you wanna see. First quarter part two, um, thrift video, um, several different things. Maybe I'll even do maybe a Warzone video as well because I play a lot of Call of Duty as well. But um, if you need anything else, just catch me uh, on my Instagram at Seanabelli, S-E-A-N-A-B-E-L-I on Instagram and on Twitter. And um, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.